Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use quilling techniques to make a dimensional flower bookmark. Here's Claire. Okay, so these strips I've joined together. They are about seven millimeters wide by about 340 millimeters long. And now all I'm gonna do is just roll it into a coil. You have to do this for, for each strip. And each of these will make up one petal. So you keep it as tight and neat as you can. And then remove it from the tool. And then gonna release the coil a bit. To give an open coil. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the end. And seal it shut. I like to use um, a needle nose tweezers just to, to really tighten the seal at the end there. And then just leave it to dry. And then I'm going to do that with the rest of the four strips. Now once you have all your coils done, you're going to pinch them into a teardrop shape. And I always make sure that the, the join in the paper is at the pointed end so you won't see it on the edges of the flower. So you do this for each petal. You do have to pinch quite hard to get a, a good shape. And I usually move the, the eye of the center of the coil over to the left as I'm pinching. Okay, so that's all the petals done. So I'm just gonna take a strip of yellow paper that I cut. Again, it's about seven millimeters long. And I'm gonna roll this into a tight coil. When you get to the end, you just add a little glue, but you don't release the coil, you just keep it closed. And then take it off from the tool. Can be a little hard to get off. <laughs> Now you can see I've assembled the petals together. So I've done three sides, so I'm just adding the last two sides together. And 
and you really want to let this dry for a while. And just add the center. And that's it. So I'm just going to leave that to dry. Now for the leaves, I just cut out a simple leaf shape and fold it in half. And I'm just going to use uh, needle nose tweezers to pinch some vein lines into it. It's very easy. Just a pinch and twist. So on the inside of the bookmark, and um, this is what the flower is going to be sitting on. I've cut out these little tabs, and you make these from just a circle of cardstock. And you just measure it in half. And all I did was draw a small rectangle to one side to make the tab. That's the basic shape, and then you just cut them out. You just need two of these. And you glue them to the top of each strip of card. And then glue the two strips together so you're going to have a circle sitting at the top and that's where your flower is going to be okay so i'm just adding a little text to the outside of my bookmark i just stamp the same on both sides and then you're going to add your insert into the middle of your bookmark. This is going to be completely hidden, apart from the circle at the top. Now just add the other side. Okay, so I've glued the two leaves together, just overlapping slightly. I'm going to add the flower to the top. And I'm just going to add that to the top of the bookmark. So add a nice dollop of strong glue to the top of the circle. And press the flower firmly in place. You 
want to leave that to dry. And that's it. That's your finished bookmark and you can see the flower sits nicely at the top.